Okay, boys and girls. So today is Tuesday. So Tuesday we are rereading and circling 10, 10 punctuation marks. Okay, so let's go ahead and read. Prairie Dog Town. Prairie dogs are small animals that live on prairies or grasslands. These animals are a little like squirrels, but they have shorter tails. Pioneers crossing the Great Plains in the 1850s often saw these little animals peering out of holes in the ground. Because the animals made barking sounds, the pioneers called them prairie dogs. Prairie dogs are very social animals. Several families often share the same underground burrow. Many groups live near each other in prairie dog towns. Two prairie dogs put their front teeth together to make sure that they belong to the same group. When they do this, it looks like they are kissing. Prairie dogs make special sounds when enemies come near. Scientists think that the prairie dogs make a different sound to identify each kind of enemy. Prairie dogs dig safe, comfortable burrows. An entrance tunnel goes 3 to 10 feet straight down. The entrance tunnel leads to a level main tunnel that is 10 to 100 feet long. Side tunnels used for nesting branch out from the main tunnel. Prairie dogs are suited to the, prairie, to the dry prairie weather. The insects, grasses, and flowers they eat give them all the water they need. Prairie dogs help keep the prairie ecosystem healthy. An ecosystem includes the physical parts of a place such as hills, plains, and lakes. It also includes the plants and animals living there. Some scientists think prairie dogs fertilize the prairie soil. Prairie dogs are also found are also food for many prairie animals. At times, other animals hide in prairie dog burrows. In that way, the prairie dog helps other animals live on the prairie, where they where there are few places to hide and keep warm. Okay, so remember that you are circling 10 punctuation marks, okay? So here we are again with our box method. Um, so we've already went over this uh, previously uh, in the other in the other videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, read read off the problems to you because I figure you guys already have the hang of it. So for one, the it's 27 times 33. So this is they break the 27 down. So 20 and seven and then 33, 30 and three. Okay, how did they get the 900? They multiplied 30 times 20. Okay, and then here, how did they get to 210? They multiplied 30 times 7. Okay, then we go here. How did they get there? They multiplied 3 times 20. Okay, how did they get this? They multiplied 3 times 7. That equals 21. Okay. Then they added all of these up and then they got 891. Okay. That's what you're going to do for number two. Number two says 45 times 27. Number three is 39 times 26. Number four is 39 times 18. Number five is 77 times 82. And number six is 27 times 92. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do those, and then that is going to be your homework for 